Virus, it is aware on the PlayStation, is a terrible game. I mean, it's very obvious by the footage I'm showing you right now, right here on screen. You can tell that this is going to be a terrible game. And not strictly because it's a movie licensed tie-in, but mostly for the fact that it tried to erase those tie-ins, but did a very bad job. You see, this game markets itself as a tie-in to the comic books and not the movie. However, certain screens in that are actually lifted from the movie, and in some of them you can even see Jamie Lee Curtis in the corner. The opening cutscene implies a situation similar to the movie where there's Russians being attacked on their tanker, and there's something attacking them and transforming them, you know, basically setting up this huge mysterious adventure. However, when you start the game, it's all text, and you don't even seem to be actually on a tanker as you go from sewers to plazas to save people in that, and I don't know what tanker in the world has all of these things. If anybody knows of a Russian tanker that has a hotel, please mention in the comments. They try very hard to distance the characters from those in the film by making them things like cops and whatnot that would never ever be on a tanker. I just don't get it. Why would an American cop be on a Russian tanker? I'm guessing that's well out of their jurisdiction. Just, just a little bit. Anyhow, the cut and paste storyline here is the least of this game's problems. The gameplay is a complete disaster. While combat is technically easy as it could possibly be on the PlayStation, you just point and shoot, it somehow is also incredibly difficult. It seems like the developers thought that a tense scenario meant that you were outnumbered and in a cramped space. Most of the time you're just running backwards trying to fire as frantically as possible to kill the enemies before you run out of space. The game is mostly comprised of these moments, and they are not trial and error. It's all based on luck. What is trial and error is the constant death traps it throws your way. You are constantly trapped in a room or hit with something that you didn't know could kill you and you have to start from the very beginning each time. Save points exist between entire levels so expect to be doing this quite a bit. I got so tired of stopping and starting and restarting over and over and over again that I had to literally get a game shark and try to give myself infinite health only to find that this game is broken literally. There are spots in this game where the game will just freeze up for no apparent reason in the exact same spots every single time. To get footage for this video beyond the end of the second level, I had to go and get passwords in order to get to the next level. The problem is, even those levels have points where the game just freezes, so I ended up replaying everything over and over again just going mad with this experience. I genuinely feel bad for those Europeans who went out and spent their hard earned money on this game. Especially if they were lucky enough to get to the third level which is basically just a giant escort mission. This mission is where things get very bad as you start to get hit with quadruple as much enemies. It is not survivable by basic means and the rest of the game is like this. All there is to look forward to is cheaper shots, more really badly designed enemies and tons and tons and tons and tons of slowdown. I don't even think that this game is actually complete, I just don't. It can't be. If you're a collector and you like really bad games, well, by all means, buy it. Get it as far away from the public eye as possible. Do not allow things like this to be made ever again. Like seriously, oh my f oh my god. Zero out of five million, zero out of all zero, there's nothing, no, don't ever, no.